Accountants, why is it that we sometimes feel like they show us smoke and mirrors, right? As a restaurant owner, we don't know what the hell they're saying to us. We feel like, man, we're beholden to them, but we don't know what's going on. Hey, The Restaurant Pro, this is Dave Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and creator of The Restaurant Prosperity Formula. And today, I'm going to identify five things you need to understand before working with a restaurant accountant to avoid creating an accounting nightmare. And when I say an accounting nightmare, I mean when you don't have your numbers or when you get your numbers, you don't know what they mean. Or when you get your numbers, they're late. And the next thing you know, you're paying too much in taxes, too little in taxes. You get a a letter from the IRS and you're amending return after return. And you often feel like you're always in arrears and never knowing where you're going. So let me start off with saying that probably 95% of all restaurant owners who are trying to avoid this, if you will, they think that they're the ones that should be doing their, their books. And I'm going to tell you for 95% of you, you should not be the ones doing your own accounting. There's about 5% of you that are just numbers, 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 people, and you enjoy it. And why not? As long as you're working on your business strategically, I'm okay with it. But for the majority of you, you sit there in front of your computers and you battle with the the accounting and you don't know what to do and you spend hours on YouTube or calling your accountant just to do a simple journal entry. Why is that a good use of your time? You shouldn't be doing your own accounting. You should be working on budgets, marketing, developing your managers, holding them accountable, leading your business forward, leading your team. You need to be working strategically on your business, like I said. And the saving money part, by doing your own QuickBook entries is costing you thousands upon thousands of dollars in lost opportunities because you're not leading your business. With that said, all accountants are not created equal and not even, and I can tell you even good accountants can set you back a little bit. So here are five things you need to understand before you're working with your restaurant accountant to avoid creating an accounting nightmare. Number one, you need to set your chart of accounts. Now, I want to be very clear with you, a chart of accounts is a listing of all the items that are in your P&L. That's all that is. They're buckets, if you will, where you put expenses and sales. The problem is many accountants grab the default restaurant accounting chart of accounts from, say, QuickBooks, and it's not good for you. Or maybe, you know, you've created your own chart of accounts and you don't understand the numbers and How do I know that you have a bad chart of accounts is if I were to look at your P&L and say, tell me what this number means or what goes into it. And you go, I don't know. I got to call my accountant. That's no good. And I'm here to tell you, there is no wrong chart of accounts. So the chart of accounts, your CPA or a bookkeeper has provided you or the one you created is not wrong. They will all pay taxes, but can they help you run your business? I teach chart of accounts. I'm sure on my YouTube channel, you may have come across the chart of accounts that I teach. Maybe you read my book, Restaurant Prosperity Formula, What Successful Restaurant Tours Do. I give it to you there. Maybe you've been to my seminar, Restaurant Transformation Seminar. I give it to you there. Maybe you've seen me speak all over the country. I often give it in speeches. But the truth of the matter is, it doesn't matter what the chart of accounts is. They pay taxes, but there are clearly things you need to do. You need to separate sales by category. Food, bottle beer, draft beer, wine, liquor. Cost of goods sold, food, bottle beer, draft beer, wine, liquor. Positions can't be front of house, back of house, salaried, hourly. They got to be by position. And then when it comes to your operating expenses, then I'm not as concerned. But you need to tell your accountant what goes in that bucket. I don't care if the chart of accounts says X, Y, Z, and you know in there, they're gloves. You need to make sure that when you look at your profit and loss, you know every number that goes in there. Number two, you must understand that it's garbage in, garbage out. So the information you're providing your accountant, it's extremely important that you provide them the right information in a timely manner. It's critical. Things like inventories, payrolls, payrolls that are broken down by category, right? Gross sales by category, cash in, credit cards in, right? All the deposits and much, much more. You've got, you cannot blame your accountant for getting bad numbers if you give them bad information. It is up to you to ensure you are giving them what they need in a timely matter. Number three, your bookkeeper and or your CPA are not your business advisors. Don't get me wrong. 
they may understand the restaurant business a little bit, but how many times have you talked to your CPA or your bookkeeper and they go, man, your food cost is high. And all you want to do is a great genius. How do I fix it? What systems do I put in place? They don't know. They just know based off a benchmark. And who said those numbers, those benchmarks are what you should be for your restaurant based on your location, style of service, price point, you know, quality of product, minimum wage, core values. You should not be taking business advice. What you should be taking is tax advice. Number four, it costs you more money to do your own accounting, do it yourself versus hiring an accountant. See, when you're saving the $25 an hour, whatever it is, the $1,000 a month, the $1,500 a month, depending on the size of your restaurant, the $1,800 a month, you may sit there and go, man, I'm saving $1,800 $1, a month. I should be doing my own accounting. Isn't that a great, a smart use of my time? No, because I'll guarantee you, you have been losing thousands of dollars on a weekly basis in missed labor opportunities. You've been losing hundreds, if not thousands of dollars on a weekly basis when your food cost is out of control because you're not managing your restaurant. You're not training your people. You're not holding them accountable. So heck, that $1,800, if that's what you're spending, could be making you thousands upon thousands of dollars because now you're using those numbers and putting systems in place to achieve numbers you need to, KPIs, key performance indicators, to make the money you deserve. But how do you do that if you're stuck doing journal entries? And finally, five, just because you hire an accountant doesn't mean you're not involved in the damn process. See, I can tell you this, that internally, one of my member mentors, Steve Eller and I, who's probably off the charts numbers person when it comes to leadership styles, he and I are like geek out on, on, on budgets and, and all the numbers and all the things go into it. And we have consistent conversations about how he's working with some of my members and I work with my members and they often give up accounting and the next thing you know, they turn around and even good accountants can have bad people work for them and make a big mistake, but nobody notices it until finally you go, oh my gosh, I've got an, a notice from the, uh, the IRS and you're talking to a good accountant even who had a bad employee, didn't do things right in your numbers. And next thing you know, you're in crisis. You can't trust your numbers. You owe tax, you know, penalties and interest and all these different things and everything blows up. Well, Steve and I talk about it and Steve's adamant about it to say on coaching calls all the time, hey, you may have an accountant, but you cannot separate yourself from the process. You have to be double checking that those buckets of information in the chart of accounts are right, that it looks right on a weekly, monthly basis. It is your responsibility not to abdicate and give it up, but to manage the process. You will be involved even though you have an external accountant or bookkeeper doing your numbers. So I can tell you this, if you can understand these five things that I just went over and how important they are to you, you're gonna be on your way to having great data to make great decisions and ultimately lead your restaurant to success. Be sure to join me live every Friday at 8 a.m. Pacific time on YouTube, travel schedule permitting, where I'll get you pumped about the upcoming weekend, get you excited about crushing your goals and finding the motivation to be best you possible. Plus, I'll answer your burning questions live.